Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a vehicle guys. If you want to know the top 7 symptoms of bad front struts, also known as shock, stay with us, we'll cover that today. We will explain why it's super dangerous to drive if you have a bad strut. And also guys, we're going to explain something towards the end that you always should do if you have a bad strut and not to just uh, uh, think that you need to replace the one that's bad. We're going to explain about that. Make sure to stay until the end because it's super, super dangerous if you don't do it right. So all that will be covered today. In addition, guys, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information. If you need to buy new struts, shocks, anything for your car, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. So. Looking at it now guys, okay, we will demonstrate on this Hyundai. If you have a vehicle also, let me explain something else. We have another channel guys that's called Electrical Car Repair Live. We're going to teach you how to do car diagnostics for free. It's amazing information that can save you thousands of dollars. So, okay, we just dropped it. Good thing you need a phone that can explode here. So safety first, right? Now let's go ahead and uh, explain the symptoms, top seven symptoms of bad strut on a vehicle, guys. We have the strut removed. Usually it will hold your wheel up, okay? Uh, and control arm up to the body. The purpose of the strut is to make your car stable, uh, to make it go through bumps, uh, potholes, things like that, and make uh, taking curves and make it stable and comfortable at the same time. But when they fail, guys, okay, all that could uh, totally, okay, go wrong. So, uh, number one symptom, guys, when struts often go bad, they will start leaking fluids. Like oilish fluid will come out of the strut on the strut stamp. You will see quite a bit of dust actually stuck to it as well because that oil will attract dust. So uh, you guys, okay, can notice that. Now, it doesn't mean that you have a, a bad strut yet, but very, very often, okay, uh, in just, it's a matter of time to be completely bad and you will need to replace it. In some cases, you may have a bad strut even if it's not leaking fluid. So it really depends. But number one, leaking fluid. Number two, guys. Okay, check for the dust cover, okay, right here, dust protector, if it's cracked, broken, your strut will go out soon, if you don't replace it, due to the fact that dust, dirt, everything will get stuck inside, and uh, it will just uh, get to the stem right here, and it will eat the seals, and the strut will go bad. Number three, guys, when those things fail, what you can expect? You can expect your car being super unstable, driving at high speed on the highway or t going through mountain roads, you know, taking curves. Uh, it will make your car super unstable. It will feel kind of like it's floating. It will want to jump out of the curve. This is due to the fact that the strut will not be performing correctly. Number four, if you hit a pothole or a bump at higher speed and when they fail even at a lower speed and you feel your tire bouncing like crazy, okay, that means you have a bad strut. And I've seen, guys, a, a tire bounce so much to the point that it broke the control arm and the wheel fell off. So you don't want that to happen, right? Now, number five. You're driving down the road, guys, you hit the brakes and all of a sudden you feel kind of like your front end uh, diving and you may hear like a clunking loud uh, noise from the front end. Your strut may be bottoming, guys. That means that the strut is not working correctly. The front end will be diving. That will make your car unstable. It will increase the stopping distance, which is super dangerous because your car will not perform as it should. So we'll definitely, guys, okay, recommend to, if you notice something like that, get a strut on time, new strut on time. Now, number six, let's say, guys, okay, you're uh, accelerating. Oh, it's sudden. Loud, okay, you just hit the acceleration pedal and you feel the front end coming loose kind of like uh, coming up and the re rear sinks that could be signs of bad struts as well and number seven clunking noises okay coming out of the strut as well clunking noise could be caused by a plane the strut could be by a bad uh, strut mount could be multiple things that can go wrong and that will lead actually to actually uh, the alignment being off and that can lead to uh, excessive tire wear or uneven tire wear those are the most common things hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you next time